what was supposed to be the happiest day of her life. Emily stood at the altar, facing an unimaginable humiliation. Her groom, in a moment that shocked everyone present, made derogatory remarks about her weight in front of their friends and family. Instead of succumbing to anger or tears, Emily took a deep breath, her mind racing towards a response that would leave a lasting impact far beyond any immediate retort. As the room fell silent, Emily's eyes filled with tears. She really hoped this was some kind of fever dream, but it wasn't. Suddenly, the perfect response popped into Emily's head. She knew this would be the only way to turn the tables on him, and as soon as she knew what she would do, all her sadness and anger disappeared to make room for adrenaline and pride. He would never see this coming. But why did her fiancé humiliate her? And what will Emily do in response? But before we start, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. It was no surprise that Emily couldn't think of anything else in the days leading up to their wedding. Looking back, she should have seen the subtle signs Derek was giving her. He suddenly responded very late to all her texts, stopped talking about their wedding. At that time, Emily brushed it off as him being nervous, but little did she know he was actually planning something she would remember forever, and not in a good way. The day of the wedding began great. His Emily hadn't been in contact with Derek at all, but that was something they had agreed on. They wanted to build up the tension for the moment Emily would walk down the aisle. Then, finally, it was go time. It was when the violin started to play, Emily knew it was her time to shine. Suddenly, the doors swung open and Emily looked into the eyes of her soon-to-be husband. She tried not to think too much of it, it could easily be just his nerves. But when she stood across from him and he didn't even smile at her, she knew something was wrong. Derek went first and finally he let out a slight smile. There she was, standing at the altar in her wedding dress, expecting to hear sweet words from Derek. Instead, he started insulting her about how she looked and her weight, right there with everyone listening. Amidst her search for a friendly face or a sign of empathy, Emily's gaze landed on an unfamiliar man. Unlike the rest of the shocked guests, he was smiling broadly, as if he found the situation amusing. This sight was like a punch in the gut, making her feel even more vulnerable and alone. It was bizarre and hurtful to see someone taking pleasure in her embarrassment. Yet, who was this man? After deciding not to let Derek's cruelty win, Emily felt a strong urge to call him out right there or even confront the man who laughed. Taking a moment, Emily closed her eyes and took a deep, steadying breath. Just as Emily was gathering her thoughts, the sound of laughter cut through her focus. The man who had been smiling earlier was now openly laughing, as if he found her pain to be the funniest thing he'd seen. She had a plan, vague as it was, and she intended to follow through with dignity. Sticking to her decision, Emily began her vows with surprising warmth, highlighting Derek's better moments and the love she thought they shared. As Emily spoke, the room buzzed with whispers. The kindness in her voice made Derek's earlier cruelty even more jarring. The confidence he had when mocking her evaporated. Standing there, he looked smaller somehow, diminished by the strength and grace Emily exuded. His plan to humiliate her had backfired spectacularly, and Emily wasn't even done yet. With the room still reeling from her vows, Emily turned to the officiant and quietly asked to continue the ceremony. Her request, delivered with calm dignity, added to the audience's confusion. After the ceremony, Emily felt lost, wondering if there was any future with Derek after what he did. She wanted Derek to truly understand the depth of the pain he caused. The reception felt like walking on a tightrope. Emily kept her distance, her coolness towards Derek clear. Guests picked up on the vibe. As the evening went on, the reception became a hotbed for gossip. When Emily noticed Derek was nowhere to be seen, she saw her chance to get away from the overwhelming atmosphere of the reception. With Derek missing, Emily slipped out, eager for a breath of fresh air and a break from the stifling environment filled with silent judgments and curiosity. She started to plan, finding strength in the silence that surrounded her. The phone call to her mother was difficult. Emily's voice trembled as she recounted the day's humiliations and her idea for revenge. To her surprise, her mother's response was not of caution, but of fear's support. Tell me what you need, Emily. I'm with you it was the reassurance Emily hadn't realized she needed. Strengthened by her mother's support, Emily began to outline her plan in more detail. As Emily got deeper into planning her revenge, her phone buzzed constantly with messages from Derek. He sounded confused and worried, asking why she left the reception and where she was. Sitting with her mother at the, at the hotel room desk, Emily started designing invitations for a special event. It was all fake, of course, but Derek and the rest of the guests didn't know that. The invitations were elegant and vague, sparking curiosity. Friends, family, and meant most importantly, Derek, confirmed their attendance, none the wiser about the evening's real purpose. Emily kept track of each response, her plan needing as many people as possible to witness. On the day of the event, Emily went over every part of her plan again. As guests started to arrive at the venue, the air buzzed with excitement and curiosity. 
The room quickly filled up, with friends and family greeting each other, their interest piqued by the unusual gathering. Derek walked in, looking around with a hopeful look in his eyes. He seemed to think this event might be a sign of Emily's willingness to forgive him, with guests glancing his way, whispering. Emily watched from a distance, her heart beating faster. Emily considered Derek's request for a moment alone, but another part of her wondered what he had to say. Could his remorse be real? Emily and Derek found a quiet corner away from the curious eyes of their guests. In their secluded spot, Derek looked sincerely into Emily's eyes and apologized. He explained that her ex had influenced his cruel wedding speech, hoping to cause trouble between them. This confession threw Emily for a loop, which she had expected excuses or maybe more lies, but not this. Derek's words, if true, made her feelings about the situation and her plans for revenge much more complicated. After hearing Derek out, Emily felt torn. Part of her was still angry and hurt. She walked back into the party with a sense of purpose. Her resolve somehow strengthened by the admission. With the room's full attention, Emily started her presentation. She shared her personal story, detailing the struggles and pain she'd faced, not just from the wedding incident but throughout her life. Emily's story, so openly shared, transformed the atmosphere of the evening turning it from one of curiosity to one of empathy and understanding. As Emily continued her presentation, she didn't hold back on detailing how Derek's words at the altar had deeply hurt her. Emily's presentation came to a close in a way no one expected. She calmly presented Derek with divorce papers. Her decision made clear in front of everyone. If the room gasped, shocked by the bold move. This wasn't just about ending a marriage, it was about Emily standing up for herself in the most public way possible. Derek, faced with the reality of his actions and their consequences, broke down. He realized too late the full extent of the pain he had caused, his remorse a cold comfort to the damage already done. The room fell into a profound silence, everyone reflecting on the journey Emily had taken them through. Her story, laid bare for all to see, left a lasting impact. Emily's bravery and free in facing her hurt head-on had given everyone present something to think about, the silence a shared space for reflection. As the event ended, guests slowly started leaving, still processing what they'd witnessed. The room, once filled with murmurs and whispers, emptied out, leaving Emily and Derek amidst the quiet aftermath of their exposed relationship. The air felt heavy with unspoken thoughts, the nights, because in the quiet that followed, Emily turned to her mother, who had been her steadfast ally through it all. Her mother's embrace offered a comfort that words couldn't. As they left the venue together, Emily felt a sense of relief. The night had been about confronting her past, but now, with her mother's support, she felt ready to look toward the future, whatever it might hold. Recognizing the need for professional help, Emily and Derek decided to start therapy separately. These sessions became spaces of introspection and growth, allowing them both to explore their feelings and actions in a safe environment. For Emily, therapy was about healing from the pain and finding a way to rebuild her self-esteem. For Derek, it was about understanding the impact of his behavior and learning to be, be better. This journey of therapy brought unexpected growth for both Emily and Derek. The Emily and Derek slowly started talking again, this time with a new understanding. They kept an open mind about what could happen between them in the future. Their relationship was changing, slowly but surely. With the divorce officially done, Emily felt a mix of sadness and relief. It was the end of one part of her life, but also the start of something new. It was a reminder that even in the darkest times, there's always a possibility for light.